Hey, my dear friends. I hope your week is off to a fantastic start. I'm making you a video because I think four, maybe five of you have said, Hey, Phil, I'm not going to be there on Friday. Hey, Phil, I'm not going to be there Friday. Hey, Phil, I'm not going to be there Friday. Uh, that's a lot of people missing. And truthfully, since it's an exam review day, I don't think that we necessarily have to meet in person. So, I think we'll call tomorrow a day off. We'll call it an outside-of-class study day. This will also give the opportunity to pull together some of your materials for your group campaigns because I'm aware that the deadline and the turnaround time is actually pretty short. So, consider this a gift to you to work on studying for the test but also working on those group campaign documents. Just like you get time on your job to complete tasks, I'm giving you time on this job to complete those tasks. Um, I hope this doesn't convey to you that this class is meaningless because that's not my intent at all. But I do want to give you time so you can do the job you need to do. So, to be honest, the study guide that we were going to talk about in class is not really even much of a study guide. It's just kind of me telling you that you need to make sure that you have each chapter well read and prepared. You will print out all of your study guides and bring them to class on Monday. In each of those study guides that you bring, you should only have content that you had when you submitted it to Blackboard. I do scan each document rigorously. I go through line by line, word by word, punctuation mark by punctuation mark. Do not try to pull one over on me. Do not try to slip in even one extra sentence. I will catch you, and if that happens, you'll get a zero on the entire thing. It's considered cheating. Okay? So I anticipate, like most semesters I've taught this course, you're not going to have a study guide that covers everything. So read, okay? The questions I ask are very straightforward. They are relatively simple. I don't usually have a lot of questions about them. There are going to be some multiple choice questions for a total of 10. 10 multiple choice questions. Then there will be a short slash longish answer section. And I expect that your answers will be between five to eight sentences. I will give you six questions and you have to answer four of them any four that you choose. So you pick four out of the six to answer. I give you space in the test to write, so you don't need to bring a notebook, although if you prefer to write in your own notebook, you can. And then finally, the last is a pretty long, uh, long answer question. I expect it will be two paragraphs or so, um, in which I'll require you to bring in and weave in elements of the lecture, elements of the study guides, whatever materials you have and then there is an extra credit section. There are four extra credit questions worth half a point each, so a total of two extra credit points. The exam total is 40 points. So prepare, read, look over your study guides. Don't just bring them in. In my experience, this is actually a pretty long exam, so it's hard to just leaf through really quickly. You're not actually going to get all the way through what you need to get done if you have not looked at these study guides or prepared in some other meaningful way. So for tomorrow, Friday, March 6th, Let's not meet in class. Let's say that this is an out-of-class study period, and an out-of-class period for you to work maybe even in your groups to get those group campaign documents all woven together. We have the test on Monday. You have your presentations next um, Wednesday, and then the schedule says Friday, but I'm thinking we should be able to squeeze them all in on Wednesday as well. I hope this isn't a problem. I hope you aren't too disappointed that we're not meeting in class, but I think that this is what you'll need to help you prepare effecti effectively for your test. Also, because I'm requiring you to print your study guides, I want to make sure I give you time in your schedule to do that. So please print these study guides. Um, again, you can shrink them. You can shrink the font if you want to save paper and cost and things like that. It's completely up to you. But if you have questions, please don't hesitate to get with me. I will be here tomorrow. Any days that I... We're not meeting in class. You need to know I'm right across the street in my office. You can come see me during that time. I'm happy to answer any questions you have in Bailey 116 or 117K. Or I'm sorry, just the 117 suite. Um, so come see me if you have questions. But good luck, and I will see you on Monday.